Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Sizer. Today I'm going to read to you a book that I really like and I hope you like it as well. So the title of this book is Henry's Bright Idea. The author is Lauren Bradshaw and the illustrator is Wednesday Kerwin. Deep in the shade of a walnut grove stands a tall tree house. A delightful group of friends gathers here. They call themselves the Animal Society. Their mission is to create and always remain curious. Henry the Fox is a knowledgeable fellow known for his unique inventions. Ruthie the deer loves to dance like butterflies that flutter outside. Margo the kitty's many books are filled with stories and poems she's written. The collection of ropes and fishing poles belongs to the adventurous Ch Chester the raccoon. Magnolia the bunny makes maps of places she's explored beyond the walnut grove. And Eleanor the bear gathers flowers and plants to make tea for her friends. Henry is the founding member of the Walnut Animal Society, an inventor and a tinkerer. You may have heard of his most famous invention, the Nautilot. It's a device quite useful for tying bow ties, which as you know, are very tricky to tie. On this particular day, Henry was not inventing or tinkering. He was looking. Henry lost an idea. Good morning, Henry. It was Eleanor the bear. Henry was so busy looking for what he'd lost that he'd forgotten all about their weekly cup of tea. What are you looking for? asked Eleanor. My idea, said Henry. I know it must be here somewhere. I'm sure when you find it, it will be wonderful, encouraged Eleanor. And then she suggested they go for a walk. A walk seemed like as good of an idea as any. So Henry and Eleanor packed some snacks and various necessities for finding things. And the two set out. Henry and Eleanor went here, and while they found lots of things, they did not find what Henry was looking for. And they went here, but they still did not find what Henry was looking for. As the sun began to set, Henry started to worry. Do you think I will ever find what I'm looking for? I know you will find it eventually, said Eleanor, ever hopeful. Eleanor glanced at their knapsack and saw all the things they did find that day. Then she looked at Henry. He saw the treasures too and smiled at Eleanor. Henry and Eleanor shared their last cookie and decided to head home. All of a sudden, the darkening sky filled with the flickers of tiny floating lights. Soon they were surrounded. Look, shouted Henry. A bright idea, a bright light landed on top of Henry's head. He could feel its warm glow. That's it, he said. I found what I was looking for. A firefly, asked Eleanor. My idea, said Henry. Oh, Henry, it is wonderful, whispered Eleanor. The two friends hurried home, little lights leading the way. And back at the treehouse, Henry got right to work. the end. So at school, we do something that I know all you boys and girls know how to do. We put our hands behind our back. 
So if you liked it, you can give me a one thumb up. If you loved it, two thumbs up. If you did not like it, you can give me a thumbs down. Ready? Let's review our book. Show me what you thought.